Hey guys, and welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to expand on the camera. We're going to make it a little bit more smooth. So the first thing we're going to do is remove all of this. And we may end up typing some of it back later, but that's alright. So, camera.arc equals 70. And camera.arc is the angle that gives the horizontal field a view. Um, basically, it's like giving your player peripherals. It's kind of uh, the higher the number, the more James Bond it looks. Camera dot clip near. This means that if anything gets close to the camera, it will not be clipped because it's a first-person shooter. That's kind of important. Camera dot clip. Five equals one thousand. Excuse me, guys. All right. Okay. So camera dot x equals player dot sorry player i underscore pose dot x and camera dot y equals player i pose dot x and if camera dot z so the camera's height is less than the player's i position dot z minus 25 then the camera's z is going to increase um, by time step times catch up speed and catch up speed plus equals time step times 65 otherwise so that means it's higher than the player's view pose if camera.z is greater than player i pose dot z and plus 25 and camera dot z minus equals time step times catch up speed catch up speed plus equals time step times 65 else um, camera dot z equals player i pose dot z and catch up speed is zero which means that this is le the camera is less lower than the player's eye position so it needs to be raised and this is greater than the player's eye position so the camera needs to be lowered um, um, it, it is um, needs to be lowered and catch up speed will increase so it's basically um, it's lowered time this increasing value otherwise it's at the player's eye position so camera Dot pan is equal to my dot pan. Camera dot tilt equals um, clamp. Not not tittle. Tilt. My goodness. Okay, clamp. Oh, let's not roll tilt. We're not that far yet. Negative ninety and ninety. Okay, so we're just setting some values and making it so that the camera can't bend its neck backwards again. Move force pan equals move or sorry mouse speed divided by two times mouse force um, dot x camera dot roll plus equals mouse 
force dot x times three times time step camera dot roll equals clamp camera dot roll negative one point five and one point five. Mouse force dot x equals zero. If camera dot roll is greater than zero point two five, camera dot roll minus equals zero point two five times time step. Otherwise dot roll is less than negative 0 0.25 then camera dot roll plus equals 0 0.25 times time step else camera dot roll equals 0 So what we're doing here is that when the mouse is moved, the camera will um, roll. So um, tilt is looking up and down, pan is um, looking side to side, and tilt would be like tilting your neck on an angle. So when you turn the camera, your, ro your, your camera will roll ever so slightly just to give that very slight extra bit of effect. <clears throat> so move force tilt equals mouse speed times mouse force dot y and then tilt force equals time step times move force tilt plus max v 1 minus time step times 0 0.7 0 close bracket times tilt force and camera dot tilt plus equals time step times tilt and basically what we've done is we've just created a bit of an algorithm here to smooth the camera, uh, the camera's tilting. And then we're going to come down here to the player's action and we're also going to implement that here. So we're going to remove all of this and actually say that um, this is equal to pan force just like we did up here tilt force. Um, see this already has time step in it so I actually didn't need to put that there. And so when we come back down here we can go pan force equals time step times move force tilt plus max v 1 minus time step times 0 0.7 comma 0 close bracket times pan force and that's it now of course we didn't add the variables yet so if we come back up here we can add the variables which are catch up speed equals zero bar move force pan and in the next tutorial we will continue with these variables and do some optimization